Hey there, friends and enemies. Joper here again. And today at the Tokyo Game Show, we got the official gameplay trailer for the brand new Overwatch hero, Kiriko. This is the third and final character that's coming with Overwatch 2. She's going to be a support. That's all we knew before this. But let's check out the trailer and then I'll give my thoughts on her abilities and how I see her playing out once the video is over. For generations, my family has served and protected our city by following traditional paths. Oh, she got a little fox. Me? <laughs> I made my own. Some of the old, some of the new. That looks interesting. Looks like that's her heal ability. I run with blades all the time. In Naruto, they would be called paper bombs. You got shuriken as well. She can teleport. Okay, that could be real, really useful. Looks like to a teammate, she can teleport. So it looks like almost like they freeze, but they're not. It's a smoke bomb. Uh, give them damage reduction or immunity. Okay. Let the Kitsune guide you. Oh, the hand signs. The Kitsune. Looks like you get buffs as you're pushing forward with that ultimate. Can't change the world by following all the rules. Okay. Interesting. So she's gonna be dropping. You can get her if you get the battle pass. I know that's a big controversy. Um, I'm an Overwatch one player, so I'll be getting the battle pass regardless. But overall, let's let's talk about her abilities because she looks very cool, very unique. So she does have the the papers where she can basically looks like just just simply heal your teammate with those. Okay, throwing those out almost like <laughs> almost like Genji with his throwing stars, but she's throwing them out as as healers. Then we got the Shuriken, which seems to be her probably her regular attack. I would imagine she has a see. I don't know how many abilities she's gonna have because like it looks like she had the heal. Which I think is her regular attack. Maybe she has like an alt fire. Where it's like you either heal with the the paper. Or you use your shuriken for an attack. So that's kind of split up like that. That's what it looks like. And then you've got the smoke bomb. The teleport. And then the buff that you get here. This looks... I'm assuming this is her ultimate, right? I would imagine. Now, we'll have to see how she plays out. But it looks like she's going to be a very aggressive, team-friendly character. That's what I would imagine. Her ultimate looks like it allows you to push through the enemy lines, break some defenses, all that kind of stuff. She's going to be able to teleport to teammates so you can get in, heal one, teleport to the other one. Which is very, very interesting. And then... She also has that smoke bomb. So you can kind of tank the enemy ultimates and everything. So yeah, I, I feel like she's going to be really, really good for very aggressive teams that are trying to push constantly. If you're doing like an attack on, on push or something like that. Or an attack on... Sorry, my dog was making a bit of noise. Uh, attack on when you're on offense, she's going to be very, very good. So overall, I'm excited about her. I think she, of uh, the new characters, they all are very, very strong. I think Sojourner now has gotten taken down a little bit. Same thing with Junker Queen, who has been very dominant for a while in like the beta and then the Overwatch League. So we'll see what happens there. But overall, Kiriko looks really, really cool. I like her design. How It'll be interesting to see how she fits in the lore. But... Most of all, I'm excited to see how she plays out going into 
the very first season of Overwatch 2. Now, it sounds like the characters are going to be locked out of competitive for the first two weeks. The brand new characters, so that's also very interesting. And we learned some other news from Overwatch 2 about the battle pass and how it works and who's going to really be... Like, why the characters are in the battle pass, all that kind of good stuff. I won't get into that in this video, but... Just be aware that they kind of explained all that. And it makes sense even if you disagree. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Helps me out tremendously. Shows you want to see more Overwatch 2 content from going forward. I'm going to have loads of information heading into Overwatch 2. As well as uh, some ranked gameplay early next season. As well as gameplay with the new characters. Anyway, my name is Jopa. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll catch you all later.